so true that you know how my director is approaching the script is he sensitively uh, seeing Th everything. थोड़ा सा ऊंचा बोलिए मुझे लगता है कि शायद end तक नहीं जाए. So, I know आपका गला खराब है मैं जैसे ऊंचा बोलती हूँ थोड़ा खांसी आ जाती है. दोनों बीमार हैं. I know we're very thankful कि बीमार होने की वजह से भी अपना जज्बा आप सब बीमार हो जाओगे तुम हो एक क्या I'm I'm but I'm not I'm not human तो जैसे अभय ने अभी कहा ना कि आपका डायरेक्टर किस तरीके से स्क्रिप्ट को अप्रोच कर रहा है मतलब इसे सेंसिटिवली राइटिंग एवरीथिंग इसे सेंसिटिवली सीइंग एवरीथिंग तो इनफैक्ट मेरा मतलब मैं पहले बहुत मतलब इमोशनली स्क्रिप्ट को मैं पहले देखती हूँ कि ये मूव कर रही है नहीं मुझे एंड व्हाट एक्जेक्टली इस टेलिंग मी द स्क्रिप्ट इट हैज टू टॉक टू मी ओके दिस इज व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग आउट ऑफ द स्क्रिप्ट दैट्स हाउ आई रीड फर्स्ट सी ऑनेस्टली इट इट इज अ ह्यूज अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मी टू वर्क विद डायरेक्टर लाइक प्रशांत नायर हुज वर्क आई रियली एडमायर तो पहले तो ये था कि अच्छा माई फर्स्ट टिक मार्क था क्योंकि प्रशांत इज लेर You know, and then the script. Of course, I uh, gone through the whole uh, details of the case, Neelam and Shikhar, Shikhar's case, and uh, the whole Upahar thing. And I'm like, I'm so honored to actually, you know, play this part. So, I mean, like, वो दूसरा टिक मार्क था. फिर स्क्रिप्ट आई हाथ में. Then तीसरा टिक मार्क था. So everything was properly टिक मार्क for me. And um, while approaching Neelam, also, uh, you know, I like. Of course, as you said, we we don't want to. Uh, maybe there is a little resemblance, but not clearly mm. because she is a little different kind of uh, uh, built and everything. But uh, as Prashant's brief was, you know, you have to make it like it's you. The, you have to find that emotional truth. Ki ye jo jo bhi kuch hai isme, how you can be there. in that situation and how will you handle that so uh wahi hota hai ki as an actor aap emotionally usko apna bana lete ho aur apna banane ki puri tarah se koshish karte ho aap pura skin nahi ban sakte ho kisi bhi character ka par aapko wahan tak pahunchna hai us us real realism mein pahunchna hai jisse aap logon ko lage ki ha are maine maine feel kiya उसने सिर्फ देखा और मुझे लगा कि अरे उसने कितने सारी बातें कह दी उसमें कि वो कितना गुस्सा है और उसे क्या क्या कहना था बट शी जस्ट लुक एंड शी जस्ट सेट एवरीथिंग तो वो आपको अंदर से कैरी ही करना पड़ेगा देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू परफॉर्म इन अ वे या दैट्स आई थिंक इम्पोर्टेंट वट स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम अ टेम्पटेशन ऑफ डूइंग द सेम स्टोरी बट इन ए a little more uh, <coughs> dramatic manner <laughs> be polite <laughs> no uh, that's how Elevated. i've learned it from you <laughs> that we are exploring the question <laughs> uh, i think i think they were aur chai mangwa mo wali mai aapke liye are the two halls dena garam pani ha garam pe pani lao mere bhi lena chahiye actually ha not chai aur lao sorry I, I yeah. think just because they were uh, real people who've gone through these things, so <coughs> we, I think, all departments and I think all all of you also were very aware of the responsibility of uh, it's someone who's uh, you know who's potentially still alive or whose family is alive who we're going to be portraying on screen. <coughs> so you know we need to be respectful and sensitive and always ask the question: Are we being exploitative? You know, and I think. you know as working with all of you i i very much felt that you all were also you know always asking yourselves that question as was every single department who is there and then also just very frankly i think audiences are you know they 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 understand that uh, you know what we are reading is that people <coughs> are appreciating that that we didn't in the performances or in the design of it we didn't tell them what to feel we we just tried our best to present the situation and to embody it but then let them kind of uh, and this is the big debate you know are the audiences ready for it are they not and i i think they are i think really they are you know there's just uh, not you know that we're still operating in an older fashion where we we need to push it onto people whereas people understand it you know and i think also for actors that's amazing to let the audience draw it out of you you know that it has more uh, 
more impact. You know, if you're telling the audience what to feel or if you're just being and the audience is pulling out of it and projecting, then the performance becomes very powerful. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> so all of us, all three of us, <clears throat> must have worked with actor, uh, directors who are not very expressive as actors, who are, whose brief is not uh, what you, he was very good with at least telling us yeah. this is what he wants and this is the percentage he wants, no, maybe you can cut this, maybe you can bring this. What happens when you work with directors who are not, who are, who are very good directors but not necessarily good with actors? do not know how to draw emotions, how to draw uh, feelings. What, what do you depend on then? Don't say that I have not done this with a director. No, I was going to say quite the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> it's not often that it happens, but it happens. It happens, of course. Uh, like in Devdi, Anurag didn't direct me at all. Hmm. He didn't say anything. Like he just let me be. But then there was an idea that I'd come up with and a character I knew. Hmm. So it wasn't even like I was asking him and I think he allowing me to do my thing and not saying anything in terms of as a director to an actor encouraged me to think, okay, so what I'm doing must be right. <laughs> and I continued doing that I and he was happy. I have a question in between for that. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes a director thinks the form is much more important than the yes, actor. Yes, there are those directors no, too. No, no. Yes. There was a very famous art house director who said ki main actors ko furniture ki tarah istemal karta hu main kisi se bhi acting karwa sakta hu yeah in the yeah. other room i'll tell you the name of the director <laughs> okay uh, i never worked with him <laughs> Anji. So, and what you were saying earlier that i would rather an, a director inspire me uh, than just be like are yaar why don't you get it out like uh, uh, then get stressed yeah. or like shout at the actor like there are very famous directors who are well known to break the actor, yes. the physically, emotionally, they feel that if I break you, mm. I get a real clean, uh, honest performance out of you. Yeah. I think those directors have a handicap because mm. there are directors like him who will not break you and mm. will be very patient and will speak you through it and you realize in his grace, he's inspiring you, uh, in his directions, he believes in you and that kind of director is a very healthy director to work with because you come back learning something and the other director who will break you and get a performance out of you no doubt but he clearly can't inspire you and he has the arrogance to think that he's some maestro he or she that breaking you has because you couldn't be capable of performing had you not been broken which is entirely untrue you don't have to be broken to perform and don't ever let anybody teach you that if some if you find yourself there then just live through it because some most of these directors are very big and you can't say anything um, and it's so easy to manipulate them, just pretend like you're broken, mm. you know. I used to do... Seriously, yeah, they're not worth it. <laughs> what about you, Rajshri? What, how, how will you... Uh, have you been, have you experienced something like this where... The director is very good in his craft and the writing is very good, but he is not able to uh, tell you what he... He was not very communicative or he is not capable yeah. of. What do you do then? Uh, so I've not done a lot of work. I've done very little work and independent cinema mm. uh, I have done and a couple of them have really inspired me. Uh, but a couple of them really broke me, mm. you know. And uh, as uh, Abhay, like he said that, you know, it's very difficult if you don't have a director who break you but don't inspire you, who don't mm. understand the process to, okay, get you back also, like, okay, you know. So I, 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 it was a really tough time mm. for a couple of, uh, I won't be able to name the no, no, projects, please, but it was very difficult for me to come back because and y when you don't have a sensitive team, mm. like you are doing, we're portraying a, ca a scene or something and you, you're into tears after that and then everyone is like, why is she crying? Mm. Like, oh, why is she quiet? Like, okay, come on, like you have to move for the next scene and you're like, it's just, I just need one, like just give me 30 seconds to breathe because I've just finished something. But a lot of people don't understand that kind Next. of a space mm. where you're know, like, they look at you like, okay, it means like, hello, mm. get yeah. up and you know, move. Yeah. So I think that sensitivity is very less in our industry. Like there are people, I'm glad, 
uh, but there are many people maybe one of them will have that kind of a thing but other may not have you know that the cameraman will come and like you know uh, you are you're preparing and the camera are light 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 yahan pe and then someone will come and dab you this thing so i it's very you know it's not just a one department uh, in our uh, industry uh, we have to have every department uh, sensitive if they don't understand sorry yeah if they don't understand that you know ki what we actors are going through how vulnerable we are when we are performing and if they don't give us the comfort or they don't you know i'm not saying that you know just spoon feed us or do everything but just a comfort a basic comfort ki hum prepare kare hum seen karne wale hai aap ye mat kariye acha ha apni ya aap yahan pe kare are so the the whole man handling which happens on set is very like you know i feel i can't work on such sets now i can't work on where you know is screaming shouting happening and you know people are not focused nobody knows what script is matlab kitni baar hota hai ki sound wale ko pata hi nahi hota kya scene kya hai so aap matlab 80s mein aur 90s mein to bilkul kaam nahi kar sakte maine 38 saalon mein 534 filme ki hai aur 534 mein se mujhe script sirf 50 ka mila hoga baaki sari filme and yet I am with all my respect, and actually they have made great films. कई बार तो ऐसा होता था कि writer सुबह सुबह लेके आता था scene और बोलता था ताजा ताजा लिख के लाया हूँ। मैंने ये देखा है बचपन में on set where I used to go ताजा ताजा